uh, in the first over with Carlo with Aaron had gone. Just two more runs on the board today, though. Sri Lanka three for one. They now move to four for one with that uh, wide. Oh, that's got to be close, yes. Two LBWs. So the wrecking crew are right on the job for Pakistan. Dreaded first ball from uh, Waka. The ball right in the block and Jai Surya didn't really have much time to get his bat down trying to whip it away caught right in front that's Waka full length delivery and hit Jai Surya just on leg stump well the inform Aravinda De Silva has arrived at the crease a lot earlier than he would have liked Sri Lanka four for two after just uh, seven legal deliveries. Well, that's a good shot. I must say, Adipa two is looking much, much better today in this uh, aggressive mode. That is really a good shot by Adipa two. As soon as the ball was over pitched, launched into it. Perfectly played. He's a very good player on the front foot and certainly growing in confidence. Well played, he smashed that one through the offside field. That's a beautiful shot. Well, as has uh, Marvin Adapatu arrived as a number three, this shot would suggest so. Very confident. What a beautiful shot by Marvin Adapatu. There it is, absolutely in position, uh, position, placing it well this time. And look at that ball going like a tracer bullet to the cover boundary for four. And what a shot by Arvinda, over the top, down towards the deep, squarish mid-wicket boundary for four more runs. And the Sri Lankans now really coming into their own, 41 for two after nine. Magnificent shot this is, uh, over the top of middle stump, you won't see many better pull shots than this. Smashed away to the boundary for four, and uh, that is vintage Aravinda de Silva. Boys whacked that one away as well on the onside. That'll go for four as well. Well, you see, that's what happens. Waka bowled the ball outside off stump. He was cut away for four. He was forced to bowl a bit straighter. Aravinda moved across his crease a little bit and then whipped him to the boundary on the leg side this time. Nine runs of the over, and just look at that. He picked it up so beautifully off his toes and dispatched it to the back of square leg boundary for four. He's creamed that. And there's four. Terrific shot. He strayed just for a moment. And he was on to it in a flash. End of the over, 83 for two. Ah! Big shout from uh, Free. That quicker delivery is very quick. He obviously thought it was very straight. Very good attempt there, as uh, Mushtaq shows by applauding the effort by Ejaz. And it was hit very hard, we will see. Hit very hard by Avinda. Brilliant effort, would have been a great catch had it stuck. At the moment, they seem to be trying to get uh, Aravinda de Silva out caught in that uh, backward point, short backward point region where Ejaz has done some good work. that and frustrating him seems to be the only plan at the moment Aravinda has uh, got the answer for everything they throw at him and what a way to show that he is capable of piercing that field as well that was one of the best shots of the day I think and uh, and what a way to get to his 52 magnificent performance by Aravinda we all know how good a player he is and here we'll see there it is, the full flow of the bat. Not only he beat the captain who's fielding closer, but also the deep fielder. Uh, excellent shot from Adipa too. Really went out after that delivery. He was beaten in the flight, but uh, he played it very well in the end. That brings up... Uh, 
That brings up the 50 for uh, Adaba 2 as well. That's it, and the way to do it, if you can do it, I can do it, and maybe I can do it better. And that's exactly what uh, Atapatu has done. That was, again, a magnificent shot by him. One of the reasons why they've been able to get on top, uh, these two, is they've both played the spinners extremely well. That's a good shot. Tell you what, he wasn't finding the gaps yesterday, but he certainly is today, Atapatu. He looks a totally different player. Runs be hit away on the offside, and this may go to the fence. That's a beautiful shot. He's opened the face of the bat and steered that one into the gap. This is a very different Marvin Adepadu by comparison with yesterday. The way he's playing at the moment, he looks as if he's heading for a hundred. What a lovely shot! Where is he using his feet, coming out of his trees, and then dispatching it to the extra cover boundary with a flourish? Oh yes, what a shot! Four more for Adapadu, and he's into the 90s now. Wakar a little upset with himself, straying down the leg side, but didn't he do well to get that little faint touch onto it? Another terrific shot. The technique adopted by Adapadu, that full face of the bat, just enabling him to get a little bit of touch as uh, the ball kept on running down the leg side and uh, eluding the wicket keepers. So four more runs to Atapatu and he's now at 93. Catch it! That's a fantastic catch. Little Mushtaq Ahmed takes it. Glorious catch after such a difficult time for Pakistan. And that's the end of Adapadu. He hasn't made his 100, but what a contribution he's made. 94. Wonderful catch there. There's Adapadu going through with that, but just see Mustaf just throwing himself at that and uh, clinging on to a wonderful catch. Oh, he's got that one through the offside field. It's running away. That field is very fast. Wish he won't catch that one. Another four. Lovely shot, Ranatunga this time, blasting it through the offside. He's often an underestimated player, I don't think by his opponents, uh, Arjuna, but by uh, fans. He's hit that one down the ground, this is going to be caught, I think that's Raja underneath it, is he going to catch it? Got it! Way down in the boundary, that went miles in the air. Raja moved around in his position down there, a deep long on to the left-hander, and it was well taken. Azuna Ranatonga hitting that one into the wind, and uh, he got it up perhaps a little further than he wanted. I think he was perhaps looking more for the flat hit, and the wind held it up, gave Ramiz Raja every chance to take it. Well, he's hit that one over the top, that's a beautiful shot. This is lovely cricket. Well, Aravinda has played some good shots today. He really is a class player. Not too many uh, batsmen are going to have the confidence to come down the pitch to Wazim Akram and deal with him in that manner. Slow ball, he's in the air, this will be out too. Yes, got him. Right off the middle of the bat. Wakai Yunus back at deep mid off. He didn't have to really move. He's got pretty safe hands too, so Wakai takes the catch. And uh, off goes Mahanama. Well, he was a bit unlucky there, he timed that beautifully. Was a well-timed shot, but he was just defeated slightly by the change of pace. And Wakai takes a good catch. It's 2.32 for five. Well, Chaminda Vice has been sent in. Uh, it was due to be Hashan Tilakaratna. They've decided that uh, Chaminda Mice is the man for the moment here. Uh, we know that he can hit it. Oh, yes. oh, he's bowled him. First ball, that's the end of that. Well, that little experiment didn't work very well. A lovely delivery from Sucklane. Bang on target. I think he might have been trying to force that one away wide a bit on. And uh, he missed it completely. It's gone uh, on with the arm, the top spinner. 
going straight through the gap. That's beautifully bowled by Sark Fain. 232 for six. I think he's going to nudge around for his under. And this is a run out. Oh, it's a disaster. He wants a single, headed off down the end, and poor old Tilakaratna left absolutely stranded. Some good fielding as well. That was picked up and whipped to the stumps, and they were both standing down at the other end. Aravinda was quite correct in calling for the single. Looked as though Tilakaratna started out and then decided against it, and uh, Aravinda to Silva didn't leave him with much choice in the end. Aravinda's gone, oh, what a tragedy, out stumped. Well, he went for it, I think they're going to ask for a replay, but I think Aravinda has got the message. He's starting to wander off towards the pavilion. Yes, and Moen got them off very quickly. In fact, the bat didn't even get uh, back behind the crease, so the runner was not required. Aravinda is on his way, like Adipatu, falling just short of the century. That really was a tremendous performance by Marvin Adepato. He'll be a very happy man. And, of course, Aravinda de Silva. Unfortunately, they both got out just before they got to 100. But let's have a look now at uh, what the Pakistanis can do in reply. Oh, in the air, down through third slip, and it'll go all the way for four. So Afridi off the mark with a boundary, and the Pakistanis here loving it. No, it hasn't taken him long. It was a bit streaky. Definitely hit the edge, but uh, no one at third slip. Otherwise, that would have been the end of him. It's gone down to the fence for four. The thing about it was, it, it was a positive shot. He really swung the bat firmly at it. And I guess the thought in one-day cricket, if you're going to nick one, at least uh, get a good, solid bit of bat on it. Well, he's got that one away, and that's uh, over the top. Yes, all the way. Well, there we are. When he hits them, they stay hit. Two misses and a hit. And that's what he's been waiting for. Not only has he seen the six, but he's got the ball. And it looks as if he's... Oh, yes, he's going to let go. And what's more, he blows his hero a kiss. That was very well hit. That's probably the longest part of the field here in Sharjah, and that's caused a change in the field placing now. Clean bowl, that's the end of that. Well, they needed that wicket. And uh, what's more, it's come to Sanjeeva De Silva, who's in the side as a result of uh, Zoyza's injury. The end of Raja. Clean bowled. Let's have another look at it. Well, that was a good change of ball as far as uh, De Silva is concerned. First one with the replacement ball, and he knocks over Ramiz Raja. Pakistan 21 for one. In front of, is that Tilakaratna there or Mahanama? It's Tilakaratna. I think he went right across in front of him, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Decidedly more difficult. Yes, once the keeper starts to move across, it catches the eye of the first slip fieldsman, and that makes it uh, more difficult for him. You see, Kalu started to go, then just pulled the glove back. Chaminda Vaz on his way. Oh, he's flayed that one away through the onside. It's running away down towards the fence. I don't think it'll get there. Murali Duran's very quick. He's put the boot into that one, run over the line. He'll come back now, but they'll get three. Yes, uh, a very committed Murali Duran there. I think perhaps he should have been looking to pick it up and get it back. He ended up running a long way past the ball. Oh, it's getting ridiculous. And... Uh, He's getting an old-fashioned stare, and no wonder. A few words, I think, from uh, Glass. But there's a man who's enjoying his afternoon. He may not be in full form, but the runs are ticking along, and he doesn't care in what degree of the 360 he plays the whole circle. Yeah. So he's on 29 of the 47 they've scored. And this might be out. Should be out. It's out. Murray Lutheran it was. 
And I'm afraid at this level, that's inexcusable. Scooping it up, in fact, high up in the air. And such a long wait for Murlidhan. Just look at him. Certainly not a way one could hold a catch. His fingers apart, not cupped in at all. And there was no way Murlidhan could have hung on to that. And that's lost miles in the air, and no one's going to be underneath that. It's six. A sweet piece of timing that time. That was a glorious shot by Afridi. Chum in the was just pitching it in the right slot. And just see Afridi going through with it. A little bit of room for himself. And the ball soaring over like a scud over mid-off or long off. Out he comes, up she goes, and that should clear the boundary, is, as it does, it's six more runs to Shahid Khan Afridi, and look at the delight of his supporters. And he's, he's going to get that this time, he will, that's four runs, and that is 50 for... Shahid Afridi in 43 deliveries, he's 52 not out, and that is the fastest 50 of the tournament so far. That's in the air, and it is caught, and that is the end of Ijaz Ahmed. He's caught in the deep by De Silva. And Pakistan have lost their second wicket. De Silva, this time, making no mistake. There it is, coming out in the air. Up, up she went. And De Silva will come under it, positions himself, and, and he holds it for dear life. And Pakistan are 84 for two. Aja has gone for 18. Oh, down the wicket he goes, he just hits one straight down the ground, and that's going to go all the way as well. Well, this Afridi is deadly dangerous. Now, there's an example of it, this could be out. Yes, he's got him, he's caught in the deep. That's the end of Shahid Afridi. He's played an unorthodox but made a superb contribution to Pakistan. Unfortunately, that time, he didn't quite latch onto it, mishit the ball, way down the ground it went, and that is the end of his knock. Well, that's well played. He smashed that one down the ground. That's a beautiful shot from uh, Salim Malik. And he's been given, it took a while, but umpire Dunn has given uh, out Benzema Malhak an underneath edge and well taken by Ramesh Kalu with Arana. Very important cricket for Sri Lanka because as we were talking earlier, Benzema, there it is, <gasps> turning a bit. Shot. Beautiful shot by Salim Malik. And that is the caliber of the batsman. Lovely tickle from Salim. And a good bit of fielding too from Jaya Saria. So he's through for a couple. And uh, Salim has the fastest 50. Did move a long, long way, and he's given it. Prodigious turn from Murray Lithran. And no doubt at all, Steve Dunn gives him the finger, and he's got to go. Yeah! He's gone, and Murray Lithran has struck again. He's gone. Wasim hangs his head. 
but he's got to go. And this brilliant man, Muralitharan, has struck again. Wazim out first ball, and Sri Lanka looking all over winners now. And there is that wicket, the all-important wicket of the Pakistan captain. Aravinda De Silva. And more confusion. And another look, Mushtaq. I thought was home that time, but only by body language. They think he's out. And they're not often wrong the way that they slapped hands there. There is the pickup by the captain. It goes into Kaluvitharna, and yep. that Mushtaq will have to go. He is out. And Ranatunga, a nifty bit of work from him. Oh, and he slipped, this could be Adjian, oh, he's got him! That's a fantastic run out, it was a little bit lucky, mind you. Sir Klein absolutely stranded, I think he must have done the splits. Have a look at this. Luck certainly favouring the Braves, Sri Lanka have been fighting and doing everything right. There you are, that was seeing Sir Klein stranded there, struggling, fallen on the ground. A good throw to Arvinda de Silva, who takes the bails off. One Sri Lanka batted first 243 for eight in their 50 uh, overs, and uh, De Silva made 97. And Atapatu, who played superbly uh, for, the, for the second time, only at number three, making 94. Unfortunate that one or two of those players didn't get their hundred. Uh, Ranatunga played a cameo little innings, and then Pakistan responded 224 for nine. Uh, Afridi really did hit, hit some big ones, and uh, Salim Malik, well, he looked superb for quite a long time. Uh, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, got out. Mohan Khan, well, I think his knock was just a little bit too late. Some good figures. Murali Dhiran, 3 for 38, and Jaya Saria, 2 for 42, despite his problems. And so, uh, at the end of the day, Sri Lanka won the match by 19 runs quite comfortably. Just looking at uh, the points table.